Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Saturday, March 5th, 2016, around 7.06 in the evening, Dalek, Massachusetts. It's a sunny day, it was a sunny day, now it's... Now it's over. The sun set. It was only 35 degrees. Tomorrow it's going to be in the mid-40s. But it's going to be warm for next week. That's good. But hopefully we do not get a major snowstorm. Some no news to report. I voted for yes for the new BMA chassis. And the polls closed in less than an hour or so. Any Barrica residents... Still haven't voted. You still got time. And also, the New York Yankees beat the Boston Red Sox in preseason action by the score of 6-4. to four. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is Fred Ottoman, also known as Tugboat slash Typhoon in the WWE, and also he's known as the Shockmaster in WCW. Fred got trained to become a professional wrestler by the great Malenko, Boris Malenko, and he made his debut in 1985. He was nicknamed Sig Field the Giant, and he wrestled at Georgia Championship Wrestling. Then he went to several independents wrestling under Big Steel Man and Big Baba. He wrestled in Texas All Star Wrestling. And he wrestled at um, CWA, Content, I mean, the Championship Wrestling, um, in Memphis. And he had a feud with Jerry the King Lala over the Southern Heavyweight Championship. They, that was a great feud in 1987. Then um, um, Fred went to um, the Florida Championship Wrestling in 1988. He was the Big Steel Man feuding with the American Dream, Justy Rose, over the Fort Lauderdale Championship. In real life, um, Fred's married to Dusty Rhodes' sister, and he's the uncle of Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust. <sighs> the old freaking Gold Dust. And in 1989, um, Fred signed with the WWE. He wrestled as Big Steel Man in a dark match with Slick as his manager. Eventually, he dro dropped Slick as his manager and became a babyface. He wrestled as Tugboat Tyler and Tugboat Thomas on some house shows in late 1989, early 1990, beating Bar Barry Horowitz, who was a famous job in the WWE. Then he, he's he becomes Tugboat, and his big f move was the, the Splash, and he became friends with Hulk Hogan, and Hulk Hogan and Tugboat teamed together a lot to face off against Earthquake and Dino Bravo, and Tugboat was getting a major, major push. Tugboat told all the fans to write cards and letters to Hulk Hogan when he suffered a career-threatening injury when he got splashed by Earthquake, but he wasn't really injured and stuff. He was just fil filming the movie Suburban Commando. And Tugboat eventually got jealous of Hulk Hogan. He f um, Hulk Hogan flew him out at the uh, 1991 Royal Rumble, and then and in the spring of 1991, in a battle royal at Saturday Night's Main event, Tugboat flew out Hulk Hogan, and they were teasing a heel turn by Tugboat. Tugboat also wrestled The Undertaker at several house shows in early 1991, and Tugboat did the job to The Undertaker, but he didn't get the tombstone because Tugboat was well over 400 pounds. There was rumors that Tugboat was being dropped out, that he was going to go to WCW. But Tugboat completed the heel turn in a six-man tag with the Bushwhackers against um, Earthquake and uh, 
Nasty Boys, Tugboat, Splash, one of the Bushwhackers, and then Tugboat becomes Typhoon and Team Prefer Quick and then the Natural Disasters, managed by the Mouth of South, Jimmy High. And then they would push as the heel, the number one heel tag team in the WWE. They feuded with the Rockers, Bushwhackers, Legion of Doom, and they, over the WWE tag team titles, but they couldn't get the bouts off of LOD. And then, like, Jimmy Hart um, turned on um, uh, um, Natural Disasters and went with Money Incorporated, which they won the tag team titles from the LOD at a house show in early 1992. And then the Natural Disasters, Earthquake, and Typhoon become baby faces, and they chased Money Inc. Who a million dollar man Ted DiBiase and IRS throughout the spring of some 1992. Eventually, they win the WWE Tag Team Championship on um, Nov uh, on J July 20th, 1992, in Worcester, Massachusetts. And they have a about four month win with it beating uh, Beverly Brothers and Nasty Boys and. The natural and money ink and rematches eventually um natural disasters lose it to back to money incorporated because the head shrinkers interfered and it was supposed to be a long running feud between the head shrinkers and the natural disasters but earthquake gave us notice to wwe to go to wrestle for japan Ty Ty typhoon um wrestled for a while in singles competition getting a minor push he, f he had matches with Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. Eventually, Typhoon left the WWE and he went to WCW. And he went in as Shockmaster. But something happened that was one of the most infamous moments in professional wrestling history. The Shockmaster um, made his debut at the Clash of Champions. He was going to be Stains and Dustin Rhodes and the David Boy Smith partner for the War Games Fall Brawl against uh, um, Harlem Heat and Vader and Sid Vicious. And when they had, had the Shockmaster make his debut at the Clash of Champions on Flair for Gold, um, the Shockmaster was supposed to wear a helmet, but he trips over and the helmet comes off for a second, exposing that it was it was Tugboat Typhoon Fred Ottoman, and that killed the gimmick. But he but he put on that the helmet back on and he used a voice. Uh, a loud voice. It was actually Orly Anderson playing the voice. The Shot Master's character had to be repackaged as a klutz. And he got a decent push in WCW, but did not get did not go past mid card. He eventually left WCW in early 1994. He went back to the WWE as Typhoon, feuding with Yokozuna at house shows for about four months, replacing Earthquake, who quit the WWE to go to WCW. And then afterwards, like Typhoon, basically left the WWE to wrestle Independence in Japan. And he also wrestled um, in. in, in in like other organizations and his last major wrestling appearance he was in the short legs w w x p uh f which his gimmick was he could not get out of a car his own car which was fu pretty pretty funny and T tugboat made one last appearance in the wwe at the Gimmick Battle Royal and Wrestler Mania 17 getting eliminated by his um, former tag team partner, Earthquake. Fred is now retired from professional wrestling. He's in private business. He worked for construction for a while and in a security company. He lives in Lakeland, Florida. He goes to wrestling conventions wearing like his tugboat um, outfit. He was a great wrestler, tugboat. He was like a very big man. He, I'm surprised he did not get a monster push. Or he had a, a feud with Hulk Hogan after he turned heel. But they, the WWE want to put Typhoon and Earthquake as a monster ta heel tag team. That would have been interesting. Um, Typhoon and Hulk Hogan. And, and a long running feud for the WWE Championship. 
And that's about it on Tugboat, Typhoon, and Shockbasta. I will be back tomorrow Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with three more video blogs. First video blog will be about the continuation of the top 67 players in NHL history since 1967. Number 19, I mean number 20 through 11. Second video blog will be about Whammy, your own will press your luck. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about WWE Hall of Famer, the late great Ernie, the big cat lad, also known as the King. And don't forget Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Questions, comments, concerns, shoutouts, plugs, private message me, and it will be addressed. Keep calm, everybody! I'm a Julie but a guy! Molly Rose Blood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt's so, so stunning. She's got nice legs as well. Bobby Gribbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Julie Gower of uh, Fox 25 has nice legs. Julie Donaldson is my TV sports cl crush. And, um, Les I mean... Leslie G G G Godette of Comcast Sports um, Philadelphia Rocks. And good night, everybody. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out! Bye now!